Right, and welcome back everyone. This is Dosashi and it's season 15 reaching its end. And uh, the other day I did a new ranking video of the Mecha. And right now I'll be doing um, a ranking video of the pilots until now, in my experience. Little disclaimer, uh, today I ranked out uh, Shin, my last uh, remaining pilot that was not level 15, so... Uh, I do have some experience with all of these uh, pilots. Some of them I played a little bit less and still managed to rank to level 15 with those items that you can unlock in the game. Um, like Serena I played a little bit less. And I would say... Actually of all of these... Yeah, Norma and Serena I played the least. All the others I think I played quite an equal amount. Maybe also Yutong a little bit less. I used a little bit more items there to pump uh, this pilot up quickly. Um, so yeah, I have pretty good uh, experience over the past year and a half with playing almost daily. And uh, in season 13, I did another pilot ranking uh, uh, video. And then I, uh, uh, how do you say it? I distilled uh, I took apart the primary pilot ability and the secondary pilot ability in my ranking because the secondary pilot abilities can be ranked separately because you can swap them out. But for now, I'm actually trying to put them together and have like an overall evaluation of the pilot. And don't, you know, it's, it's not an objective truth or something. These are just my opinions based on some experiences. And that... Uh, Take it or leave it. If you disagree, that's perfectly fine. Feel free to leave comments in uh, why you agree or why you disagree. Feel free to leave a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give my opinions on these pilots. <clears throat> and it could be that some pilots have amazing primary abilities but very lacking secondary abilities. Or the other way around. Uh, that will influence the, the pilot uh, level. And as you can see, I go from S plus till B. Um, it doesn't mean like when I put something in B, it doesn't mean that I'm thinking you shouldn't play it. <laughs> because some of these pilots also have amazing skins that give you a lot of <clears throat> joy for playing them. And the joy in playing a pilot is actually what it's all about. But I'll be ranking them not on based, based on the skins, based on their effective uh, efficacy and how effective they are in the game <clears throat> because not all pilots are created equally so let's uh, start it off with ning one of the first um <clears throat> free pilots and i will be reading um the abilities so the first ability is a counter strike mark it marks the attacker's position for x seconds after taking damage um that ability i have been saying this many times but i think it's a pretty useless ability uh, because it gives you information that you could have if you pay attention but in my experience i have noticed that sometimes people are really good at sniping and it actually helps to see immediately where they are shooting from because it gives you a pretty clear indication plus another good thing is it gives you tracking so it's, uh, I have it at level 3, so then it tracks for 3.5 seconds. If you upgrade it, it can track for 5 seconds. You can, inside of buildings, behind hills, you can basically track your opponents and make sure to see where they are while trying to hide for them or take a or reposition or whatever. So it's actually better than I... I have to admit that. Uh, still not the definitely the, not the best pilot ability, but I do think it's pretty good. Um especially in higher levels of play actually uh, when people are being more sneaky so i think that's actually better than i uh, gave her credit for in the past um, our secondary pilot ability is hive infrastructure if you max it out you grant your uh, mecha an extra maximum durability of plus 210 and that's pretty substantial especially for the more squishy uh, uh, for the more squishy mecha. I myself ran this quite a lot in the beginning of my me playing Super Mecha Champions, but lately 
I actually never choose this anymore because it just gives you some flat extra HP and that can sometimes help you survive that one extra shot. Uh, but to be honest, if it's really dependent on one extra shot, already other mistakes have been happening. So, it I would say Hive infrastructure works on most mecha. I mean, it just gives, makes you more durable. So that's pretty solid. But it's, it's not my go-to recommendation. All right. So I think in the middle of the road, A plus sounds pretty good. Maybe A. No, let's let's keep her an A plus for now, and see what else we got here. So let's continue with Rom. Rom in the beginning I also gave a little bit too little credit, um, because what does Rom do? His primary ability is called Combat Shield. So you gain uh, at max level 70 temporary shield for 180 seconds after making a kill. Uh, 180 seconds, that's three minutes. That's quite a long time actually. And especially when you're on a roll, when you're doing good, you will be just running around with 70 extra hit points. That is very powerful. Having that buffer. Uh, it makes sure that people, uh, it just gives you more survivability. It makes sure that people need to focus better. Headshots are less effective. Um, yeah, I think that uh, shield is very powerful. And his secondary power, uh, secondary pilot ability, combat control, at level six gives minus seven percent combat skill cooldown for Mecha. So that means that you can just use your combat skill more frequently, and that is very powerful. I uh, in the beginning, uh, I ran this most of the times because uh, yeah, it just helps you out quite a bit, especially with those Mecha that are very dependent on the combat skills. Um, I run this often on mecha like Skyfall, sometimes also Firefox, just to help you dash around a little bit better. On Arthur, it's also good. I think it's good on many, uh, many mecha. All right, moving on to Joanna. Joanna, Joanna's first ability, uh, I think is one of the stronger in the games. The only downside is that you cannot use it with a board, with a skateboard or hoverboard it's called. I think it's called Lithe Posture. And at max level, it gives you one extra tumbling and charge skill. And it gives you 10% extra distance, distance for tumbling and charging. And that distance itself is already really powerful. But also having just an extra, uh, extra tumble that you can just do in your skill no other pilot has that, and that can definitely give you the edge in uh, fighting pilot on pilot, but also trying to escape mecha. So I think she's a very powerful um, pilot. Um, like I said, the only downside is that she, you can't, the u ability is useless whenever you are on a board, and most of the times you want to be on a board actually. But that mobility is uh, good. And her secondary ability is very um, good for specific mecha. So definitely not for most mecha. So it's called Expeditious Charge. And at max level, I did rank it and max it out. Uh, you get 10% extra max fuel. So I think if you're just beginning with Hot Steel, just beginning with Hurricane or Andromeda, Neutron Star, like the, the mecha that are a bit more hungry when it comes to fuel, this is very strong because in the beginning you're, you're still trying to figure out you know when do i dash when do i fly when do i hover and having that extra buffer of extra fuel can definitely help out um, when you, once you get better with mecha i think that max fuel can be replaced by other uh yeah other more optimized um, pilot abilities. I'm just thinking here because I feel like Rom and Joanna are kind of on the same level, although I would say Rom is less situational. Sure, you first have to kill someone, but that happens quite frequently in a game. 
unless you're doing like a very sneaky kind of play then but that's very situational i would say um in my playing experience i do think ram is more powerful with the primary and also with the secondary because the secondary of Jorana is more situational to the mecha and roms basically works on every mecha but then again if i put it like this i don't think ning is anywhere close to joanna so let's go like this i think ning has to uh, make place for joanna who i do think is a superior uh, pilot okay then we move on to ivan Ivan used to be my favorite for a long time. Um, uh, let's start here for now. Um, Ivan, Ivan. So Ivan has the first ability that says Fearless Fighter. At level six, you regenerate 70 hit points in four seconds when taking damage and your HP is below 70. The cooldown of this is a minute and a half. So you will regenerate hit points pretty quickly, but it's not too full. So you don't get all the way filled up. And I've noticed, especially in the end game, when people are like fighting in zones and trying to you know, sneak out that last bit of damage, it can sometimes help you. But the healing sometimes can also be a bit slow. I've, I've been noticing that, especially when you headshot someone, the healing doesn't trigger because Ivan is already dead. Another nice thing of Ivan is that he starts, is the only pilot that has more than 200 hit points to start with. He has 210. So that's a, a detail that's, uh, that could be relevant, making sure that sometimes uh, where a shot, one, uh, one shot would kill a pilot, it would not kill Ivan immediately. So that is nice, but definitely on the weaker side, I would say. Uh, his secondary pilot ability, to be honest, I have never used. I've never upgraded this because it, on paper it just seems so meh. Uh, what does it do? Gravity amplifier. It uh, does mine uh, at max level minus ten max mecha durability, and the durability reduced is converted into shield. So that means if you have like a mecha that is has a lot, a lot of durability, like hot steel, for example or even doom lies you can transfer a part of that durability into your shield and yeah i think if you're playing more like an assassin like you sneak in you burst someone down and you go away asap then you can recharge your shield again um and then it's useful but i think having that extra Hit points or durability in your mecha by default is better than having a bigger shield in general. <clears throat> um, so actually, because of the secondary, if so, let's imagine you're playing this game and you're doubting which pilot to get um, with your precious coins. Oh, I'm sorry, Ivan. I really like your design and I think you're fucking awesome, but I don't think you would be a good pick if you were thinking of optimizing your uh, winning chances i don't think ivan is a good pick actually to um also the secondary is so underwhelming so the primary is okay <clears throat> the secondary is too overwhel overwhelming to see ivan as a as a good pick all right moving on to oh, yori and Iori, I think, is a very awesome uh, looking uh, pilot. And she has a very unique thing. Her first ability is called Wind and Snow. And um, she performs an extra minor jump in the air. And at level six, uh, six uh, that minor jump is 125% of uh, the normal distance. So not only have you, do you have a norm, an extra jump already from the start, that extra jump also jumps higher. So that is really solid. Having extra mobility from the get-go, I would say, is a powerful thing to have. 
Again, same like Joanna, the only downside of that is that her ability is literally not doing anything when you're on a board or in a car. And most of the times you actually want to be on a board. So in clutch situations, when you just start or when you just get d or uh, when you want to outplay your opponents, you jump off the board, you do, do some double jumping, some ninja flips, you kill them and then get back on your board. Sure, you can do those things. But in general, yeah, I think she's similar to Joanna for that. Uh, when it comes to that extra mobility, it's good, but you can't always use it. Um, then if I take a look at her secondary ability, and I've been told that other people use this a lot actually, but I've, I've tried it a couple of times, but it doesn't really fit my play style, I think. Uh, secondary ability is self-repair device, and at level six, uh, it says restore 20 durability every four seconds after disengagement. So every four seconds. Uh, so, uh, so that's like 15 times 20 in a minute. Yeah, so that's like three to 400 durability that you can recharge every minute. I mean, that's actually not bad. Uh, I think this is a good one for sniping an assassin mecha where you come in, burst someone down and then hide. And then get out of your mecha and hide and just recharge whatever you need to recharge. Um, like a Gabriel or something, I think it could work really well. Uh, you just stay away, nobody can see you, then you blast someone to death to smithereens and then you d immediately if you took some damage. At the same time, for those strategies, there are better alternatives. So I'm thinking here, even though I think Yuri is similar to Joanna, I do think the self-repair device, well, it's also similar use to the expeditious retreat of Joanna. It's situational, some mecha like it. It depends on your play style. Um, yeah, A plus is fine, I think. Uh, moving on here to Mila. I think uh, Mila's primary ability is the single most powerful in the entire game. Um, let me just re re quickly rethink that if I go through all of them here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I stand with that. Even though also for her goes that um, similar to Joanna and Yori, you can only utilize her ability when on the board. Let's say, wh what does her ability do? Dextra Stumble. At level six, reload at 150% of normal speed when tumbling. So those are two abilities in one. Huh? Don't forget that. So first of all, you reload faster when tumbling. But second of all, you can re reload when tumbling. And that second part is amazingly powerful, that you can reload while tumbling. No other pilot can do that. It makes you so much more mobile. Uh, but at the same time, not only that, you can also reload 50% faster. That's, that's just not comparable to any other, just the damage output that you can generate with that and the outplay potential, potentiality that you can do with that is just so much higher than all the other pilots. Okay, so she, to compensate that, the designers did give her less starting durability. So she has 180 instead of the average 200. Um, but you really, to be honest, I never really noticed. When I play Ma Mila, I, um, I can just, you know, dodge and shoot and dodge and shoot. And I really don't miss the extra 20 hit points there. Um, so yeah, I think Mila, if you are doubting which um, pilot to pick and you have some coins available, go for Mila. Absolutely, you will not be disappointed when it comes to the primary. So that's the primary. Now let's go to the secondary. And the secondary says extreme firepower. So at level six, you do plus 1.5% damage. Oh no, so, sorry. 
uh, yeah, so you do plus 1.5 damage, extra damage for every 10% durability lost by mecha. So if your mecha is very durable and you lose uh, hit points, which usually happens in a fight, you will do extra damage. But the thing is that 1.5% is so little. So at, let's say you're almost dead and you lost 90% of the durability of your mecha. That's then you're in a bad spot. Let's be honest. That's the bad spot to be in. And then times nine. So you do like 13%, 14% extra damage. That is high, but basically you die by one shot. You die by one rocket. You die by a couple of blasts with an assault rifle or something. It's especially on squishy or mecha. Like for example, if you're in Andromeda or in uh, uh, Raven, or even in Tempest or something, it's just not worth to do that extra damage while getting so low. Um, so I think even though Mila has the most powerful uh, primary ability in the entire game, her secondary pilot ability is so bad <laughs> that I have to put her down here lower than uh, S+, because S+, I would say, is just just go for it, you know? Um, and if I have to be honest, I think Rom is a more reliable pick. Also, that's also probably why, and he's like basically free um, if you choose him at the beginning. So you can just, yeah. Secondary is better. But yeah, Mila's first ability is just so powerful. You cannot go around it. Um, I think if you want to be a pro, go for Mila, really. Mila is one of the strongest. Uh, let's move on. I've talked about long, long enough about Mila. Uh, going to Red or R-E-D. Um, I will start her here, right next to her daddy. Or maybe I shouldn't say daddy. Her dad, her father. <laughs> um, yeah. I love her design, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of her abilities. Let's let's go through it. Crimson Rhapsody, level six. Gain 10% damage reduction for three seconds upon firing. Okay, so firing, that's normally what you will be doing uh, in, in battles versus pilots, for example. It works on every vehicle. 10% um, is pretty solid damage reduction, but at the same time, it's only active when you're firing. It's not active when people are chasing you and you're trying to get away. Uh, and that's actually when you probably want to have that. It's also not really... Uh, yeah, it's not doing much except for when you're firing. So when someone snipes you, it's useless. You don't, it doesn't trigger, it doesn't, nothing happens. So that's pretty bad, I would say way too situational and i mean if it would be like 50 percent or something while firing yeah sure then she can be like tanky you know but this is so situational and when it triggers it's still not as powerful and i put it here now also because especially the next one also has damage reduction uh, buff or the next two even but they don't have the tiny situational uh, thing going on but let's continue with red here or secondary pilot ability is all right depending on the mecha it's called strong interference and at level six it gives a plus 30 percent duration of debuffs caused by mecha to enemies so what are these debuffs they refer to things like the flaming from fire star the fire damage and i'm thinking probably also the paralysis from arthur or akashic so these kinds of uh, effects that influence a mecha last longer, which can absolutely work, I think. I think in a squad game scenario, or maybe in Iron, uh, Iron Arena, when you, uh, Iron Arena, teaming up with people and you're kind of min-maxing, optimizing things. Or what am I saying, in Iron Arena, you, can't, you don't even play pilots. So never mind what I said there. <laughs> 
But in squad games, you can optimize in such a way that maybe one person is going to play an Arthur and just make sure that they stun everyone, like a support Arthur. That could absolute, absolutely work. Um, but it's you have to build around it. You have to... Uh, it's a lot of effort you have to go through. So, yeah, even though I love Red's design, I think both of her abilities are really not great. And actually, even... Yvonne's abilities, the primary is better than hers. And even a secondary. The secondary is kind of also meh. But the primary is at least better than red. So I think I will put Yvonne here. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Lillian. So like I mentioned before, um, damage reduction can be super good. But Lillian's trigger for uh, engaging the damage reduction is much better than what uh, red has going on so let's let's start here actually so her first ability says operative pilot license at level six you get plus 10 percent movement speed and damage reduction when piloting a vehicle so 10 percent damage reduction when piloting a vehicle and vehicles are those car deformed cars the unicorn tank uh, the hoverboards, and I'm not sure if the flying machine also counts as a vehicle. I do think so, actually. So that means that if you get demacked and someone tries to kill you while you're hovering, flying, you also get less damage there, and you move faster, if I understand correctly. Um, and most of the times you want to be on a vehicle. If you're not in a mecha, you want to be on a hoverboard or in a deformed car. So I think having the extra damage reduction then... I think that's a much better uh, situ uh, situational circumstance that's, that you can control much better and helps you much more uh, in combat. So, yeah, A plus is pretty okay. If you start, let's take a look at her secondary. And this is also one that I almost never use. I tried it a couple of times. It's called Pursuit Program. At level six, you get plus 10% movement speed for 3 seconds, but only once every 7 seconds upon scoring a hit with the secondary weapon. So that there's a lot of ifs going on. So that already makes it less good, less reliable, let's say. So the plus 10% movement speed for 3 seconds, solid. That's good. That's a good buff to have. But only once every 7 seconds is already getting like why so infrequent you know uh, for three seconds once every seven seconds but and also what do you have to do for it you have to score a hit with a secondary weapon so secondary weapon who wants to be fast after scoring a hit with a secondary weapon i'm thinking so originally this is for neutron star neutron star when it smashes with a secondary weapon oftentimes it wants to actually basically continue smashing with the secondary weapon and uh, and then the extra movement speed doesn't do so much um arthur secondary weapon yeah sure you can hit once and with a whirlwind slash and then jump away to have a little bit of extra movement speed but the thing is later on with mobius and shin better ways of increasing increasing the movement speed of your mecha appeared making this one actually fall short I think this one might need uh, might need an adjustment, to be honest. Um, so, I think the pursuit program. Yeah, I mean it could actually work on. Let me think. If I would play this on Aurora, having extra movement speed. I mean, Hurricane could work. To have that extra, but. but Plus 10% is just not enough, I'm afraid. Once every 7 seconds, plus 10% for 3 seconds is just actually not so much. It's a little burst. And you first have to hit with the secondary weapon. So, um, Andromeda could work, but I would much rather have Wings of Swiftness from Mobius. Or the other one from Shin. I think also you get a higher higher buff there so no it's just not good and for that reason uh lillian kind of drops down a little bit 
and it hurts me to see Ning and Lillian on the same because the primary of Lillian is much 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 better so actually let me th think here because the secondary the primary of Lillian actually I would say is at this level so having the extra mo mobility and the extra defenses actually makes it very solid but the secondary is more on this level so yeah let's go a plus i think that makes sense moving on to not this one moving on to vita v vita is one of my favorite pilots in the game um after playing even a lot i unlocked vita and this is I think Joanna was the first pilot I level I maxed out to level 15 and then it became Vita. Uh, I have so many fond memories of playing with this pilot. Um, what does her primary do? I also have her primary upgraded fully I see here. Yeah. So Mecha Hunter at level six plus eight damage versus Mecha minus 12 damage taken from Mecha. Well, Let's, let's do that right over there. Um, Vita is a mecha hunter, like the thing also says. Uh, just having, and there's no circumstances, you know? There's no situations that you have to build around. There's no situations that you have to make sure you are in. No, this is just a static effect. Whatever happens, Vita will do 8% extra damage and take 12% less damage. That's so incredibly powerful. You can sometimes literally go like face to face with a mecha if you have like uh, the, the plasma, uh, what is it called? Plasma pulse or something, uh, or the homing uh, missile, it's plasma missile, I think it's called, or the iron cannon. You can just go toe to toe with me some mecha. Um, it can be on a board, off a board, in a car. It doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you have this buff activated um, and that makes it so powerful her secondary ability is okay it's pretty okay i don't recommend playing it actually i've played it quite a bit to try out um, at level six it's called uh, quick shield recharge and at level six you get a plus 20 percent shield recovery so your shield recovers more quickly and a minus 30% recovery cooldown. So not only does it recover more quickly, it also the recovery also gets triggered earlier. So I think on mecha like Tempest, uh, Akashic, um, also Hurricane actually, Jojo, uh, Neutron Star, the, the mecha that have a relatively big shield um, and high mobility, so they kind of go in and out and burst and then get out again to recharge the shield. You, you need less, uh, maybe also um, Michael. Michael has a smaller shield, but does do like this in and out kind of gameplay. Uh, Ranger even, there's quite some mecha actually where this could work quite well. Um, but having said that, I think all of those mecha have other um, all of those mecha have other uh, pilot abilities that could work just as well or even better. But this is more like a defensive one, and in general, I'm more a fan of the offensive um, or mobility alternatives so uh, just like Mila you know her prime the primaries are like s s plus 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 but the secondary pulls them down even though I think uh, Vita secondary is much better than uh, let me just readjust this readjust my laptop a little bit Vita secondary is definitely better than Mila's um, you know what I will keep Vita here for now because her primary is just so, so good. And the secondary is definitely better than Mila's. And I think the primary of Mila and Vita is on the same level. 
so that that would make sense maybe I'll mm, let's take a look at the others yeah let's let's continue and see where we'll end up so now silver deacon and another awesome looking uh, another awesome looking pilot has the ability survival prayer at level six you get a 25 hit point shield when hp is under 60 percent up to 90 times every one second so i find this wording very confusing still i think it needs to be once every 90 seconds not 90 times every one second because i when i play it it doesn't trigger 90 up to 90 times per second i think that's just a, a mistake um so getting that extra shield when you get on the 60 percent is useful it has definitely saved me at moments um but the thing is the 25 is very low if it would have been 50 that would have been different like uh even for example regenerates uh, 70 if he gets under a certain uh, threshold and this one apparently on paper triggers more frequently i haven't seen that actually um but it's only 25 it has absolutely saved me in certain situations but uh i don't know i don't know i don't think it's that uh, that amazing i think it's too low uh the secondary pilot ability of silver deacon fatal verd verdict Level six primary weapon gains six and a half percent attack bonus versus enemies more than 150 meters away. Well, that is um, very powerful when you're playing a sniper like Gabriel or Snow Mirage or um, Pulsar, even um, Raven, maybe even Andromeda in some cases or uh, Caramel. But also here, the six and a half percent is so underwhelming. It, yeah. And 150 meters is pretty far away, actually. So, I'm sorry, Silver Deacon. I think you're not in a good spot here. Uh, moving on to Cyrus. Cyrus is in a pretty good spot, I would say. Also, a pilot with only 180 hit points to uh, compensate for the high damage potential so i'll start cyrus over here his first primary ability is called genius merc at level six for four seconds after switching weapon you get a plus 15 percent damage bonus and it has a 20 second cooldown now these are higher numbers already than some of the other numbers we've heard and just having the numbers higher already makes such a difference. 15% damage bonus, that's good. For four seconds, that's relatively long also, after switching a weapon. And I don't know about you, but when I play um, pilot versus pilot, I very often switch weapons. Um, like I empty a clip and I switch to a different weapon just to keep my damage output high. And Cyr Cyrus, Keeps, makes increases that damage even further which i think is a very useful ability to have and now i'm just if you're just casually swapping weapons but you can actually play around this for example if you see someone in the distance you can make one shot you can hold your smg as a, as a default weapon or whatever you see someone in the further distance you make one shot you swap to your iron cannon or your explosive sniper rifle and you just one shot anyone by activating that buff while switching to your sniper rifle or your sniping weapon. And that one shot potential is making Cyrus really, really powerful, I would say here. Uh, his secondary pilot bit is actually also pretty good. Hill of Bullets at level six, very simple, but very effective. It gives you a plus 20% reload rate. Plus 20% reload rate, that's good. I think every mecha benefits from this. So everyone except for Raven and Arthur. And maybe also not Skyfall because 
can technically reload, but doesn't really. So, all, but all the others can work really well with this. But the only reason why I don't play this so often is that there's just more effective alternatives, I would say. Uh, but the primary ability of Cyrus, I think, is very solid. I'm looking here because Rom is just like a tank, you could say, and gives extra mobility to the mecha. Mila is very mobile herself. Yeah, also very high damage output. Cyrus, very high damage output potential. Not necessarily so mobile, but has also lower that. I do think from the um, secondary, Cyrus's secondary is much better than Mila's. Also better than the three of them, the secondary. But the primary is kind of the same. Yeah, I think S rank for Cyrus is pretty solid. Yeah. Okay, moving on to Serena. Uh, her, both of her abilities I did not upgrade at all. Um, her first ability says survival treasure. At level six, plus 20% recovery with recovery items, including deathmatch recovery pack, and plus 20% speed when aiding teammates. And I think the aiding of teammates refers to um, uh, resurrecting them uh, after they have been uh, taken down. Um, the extra healing from recovery items can be useful. I mean, you've if you've seen videos of mine, you have seen that sometimes it happens that you don't have enough resources and then the extra little bit of healing definitely uh, helps. But I think Serena is not that great in Battle Royale, but she is actually pretty good in Team Deathmatch, where those, that healing is way more scarce and having that extra little bit of healing can definitely make a difference. But in Battle Royale, I, I don't know. She also has only 180 hit points. Um, yeah, she does have a smaller frame, so she's a little bit harder to hit compared to Ivan, for example, similar to Cyrus and Mila. Um, so in squad games, this it can help. Plus twenty percent, it's yeah, it does help, you know. But yeah, I it's not my go-to recommendation. And also because of the secondary ability, protect and recover at level six. Effects for shield recovery skills, excluding modules, improved by 15%. And plus 15% recovery with recovery items. So this also further increases the recovery item. So in team deathmatch, again, it could work, but it's again so defensive and so reactive. I would prefer to pick something that's, yeah, proactive instead of reactive offensive instead of defensive um, and even if you go for defensive i would much rather have extra durability or extra mobility or uh yeah just because you still need to find the healing you know <laughs> uh, you still need to find a way to trigger it actually so yeah i i, I don't know there's definitely some uses, but if I look at this list, I do think Ning and Ivan are absolutely more useful than Serena. Uh, more reliably useful. And I think Serena fits in this category of, I wouldn't say useless, I mean, no, I wouldn't say useless, but just compared to the rest, definitely on a different level of uh, me mechanical prowess, let's say. Okay. Then we move on to Jiu Chong. And if you have coin for your first pilot to unlock, hands down or up or whatever, <laughs> Jiu Chong is my top recommendation for both her primary and her secondary ability, and mostly actually for her secondary ability. Let's first start with the primary. Sword Flight. At level 6, you get plus 13% damage on skateboard and 13% movement speed. I mean, that's two abilities in one. First of all, you 
my I myself really enjoy uh, being on a, a skateboard anyway. Whenever I'm not in America, I'm on a skateboard most of the times. And you just do 13% extra damage. That's amazing. And you're moving faster. So you have extra mobility. You're harder to catch. <clears throat> you have more escape potential. You have more engage potential. And that extra 13%. So what I, the trick I mentioned about Cyrus being able to one-shot people by giving himself this plus 15% of extra damage. Yu Chong just has to be on a board. Equip an iron cannon and just snipe people, one-shot people. She can one-shot the, the smaller ones like Serena, Cyrus and Mila just by being on a, uh, on a board. Uh, but she can also one-shot everyone else when she has like a golden iron cannon or a golden um, explosive sniper rifle. Uh, and if you and you don't even have to headshot for that. That's the thing, you know. Of course, everyone can headshot, but you don't have you can just do a body shot and still one shot people. And that is just so incredibly powerful. Don't mess around with Ju Chong. She's so strong uh, <clears throat> when she's on a skateboard. But so that's already super powerful, you know. But then we move on to her secondary, and that is the single most powerful, useful and amazing secondary pilot ability in the entire game and it's called lightning mantra at level six use a tactical skill to call a lightning strike on the nearest enemy dealing one 125 extra damage to mecha or 35 damage to a pilot and the cooldown of it is 20 seconds so first of all your tactical skill your dash or whatever your mobility uh, ability is now also dealing extra damage just for free, you don't have to aim it, it just happens whenever someone is, is in range. And that 125 or 35 to a pilot is pretty substantial. It's like a, a seventh or a sixth of the hit, total hit points of most pilots. Um, sometimes I use it to finish someone off, sometimes I just use it to get a little bit of extra damage in while being mobile. But, and the cooldown of 20 seconds is perfectly fine. But the thing that it doesn't mention here, but it does do, is this lightning strike also reveals the enemy on the map. So first of all, you have a sound effect. So if you are if you don't know someone is nearby and you just dash around and you hear, you hear like the lightning strike, you look around and it, you realize, hey, I've hit someone. I hit someone that I didn't realize was there. So that's one thing, but it's not just, just a sound. If you then look to your map, you will actually see a little icon where the person that you hit is. So this can also help in tracking down people, can help in finding people that you were unaware of. So it's a unique bonus ability that in itself, if you ask me, is already S rank. But because you also have the damage, it's... Um, it's just amazing. It works on, I think, every mecha, maybe except for Doomlight or Gabriel. I think Doomlight and Gabriel, maybe most of the sniping mecha are not the best with Lightning Mantra, but it definitely still works on them. Um, but you can absolutely play it on every mecha and just have a more easy experience. So yeah, top pick, I would say Ju Chong above Vita for the total package. You get everything, primary, secondary, you get it all with uh, Ju Chong. Um, very good pilot to pick. Moving on to Norma. And Norma has as a primary ability Femme Fatale. I'll put her here for now. Actually, I'm not so sure yet. Femme Fatale, at level six, uh, you have 15% damage reduction when attacked by characters of same sex and 15% damage bonus versus characters of opposite sex. So that means that if Norma is fighting another pilot, let's say who's a pilot we see a lot, Ning, she encounters Ning, uh, it means that she will, Norma will take less damage from Ning, 15%. Okay, that's, it's fine, I guess. 
it doesn't do anything in, uh, against mecha though but it's it's fine uh, and then for example if you would encounter rom um, norma would be able to one shot rom with an iron cannon because but the thing is so you you could say oh cyrus and Jiu chong and norma are kind of similar in a way yes there are similarities but with cyrus you have power of kind of preparing and deciding when you do it by swapping the right weapons at the right time and it's not it doesn't matter what the opponent does same for Jiu chong you can just get on the board and it doesn't matter what the sex is of your opponent uh, you can just get on a board and snipe people norma can also do that it doesn't have to be on a board doesn't have to swap a weapon but you don't have any control over which of the two triggers so sure you can say that in either case she has a powerful bot correct that's true but you don't have control over it and that's the part that i don't like plus i have to say it from a political political standpoint i don't like that it refers to opposite sexes and that refers to um yeah it's just it doesn't feel right with me this this ability because it's um it's very binary thinking and i don't think that's very accurate to um i mean of course it's a fantasy game but come on uh it's <laughs> 2023 people we can do better um but mostly from a mechanical perspective I, you don't have control over it uh, i do think ivan and ming are much right let's actually take a look at the secondary ability chain electroshock at level six for seven seconds after using a secondary weapon plus 22 percent damage to next primary weapon attack with a nine second cooldown now this one is actually pretty interesting it is not great um but it's also definitely not bad and i tried it i played this quite a bit on boltus and of course that's her mecha and Boltus works quite well with this because you can just nuke people. Uh, but also, so any mecha that has like big primary shots like Michael, Andromeda, um, Arthur, I would say even Firestar, but Firestar, you have to be close by already. Uh, Firestar could work with this one. Um, so there's a lot of uses here. But I do think it's very um, mecha dependent. So I actually don't recommend getting this at all, actually, because there's just better alternatives. Uh, but I would say it is objectively better than, like, if you just do the calculations, it is better than whatever these three provide, and also the primary. So I do think Norma is is correct here next to Ning and Ivan. Although I do think the abilities of Ning and Ivan, especially Ning, is more useful than Norma. Ning, yeah. Yeah. So let's keep it like that then. Moving on to Yutong. And Yutong's primary ability I did not level up, but his secondary ability I fully maxed out um let's see here so his primary ability says wingsuit mechanic at level six you get a plus 50 percent height when ejecting from a destroyed mecha and you get plus 55 percent uh plus 55 speed when gliding in a flying machine so that extra speed is very noticeable it's a lot of extra speeds and the height is also noticeable so it's just easier to get away as uh, yu tong and the thing is, it's this again this reactive kind of ability where first your mecha has to be destroyed while in general you don't want your mecha to be destroyed at all but of course it happens and when it happens it's actually very nice that you have this extra escaping uh, mechanism and in the beginning the, f f the gliding speed can help out mostly in squad games in solo games um, it's okay it's not bad it's it's okay Yutong, I think I will put it here for now. Uh, secondary, though, is very like dependent on which mecha you're playing. But on the right mecha, it's really amazing. 
So hovering attack. Uh, level 6. You get a plus 5.2% damage bonus when the mecha is when the mecha is hovering more than 8 meters off the ground. And the greater the altitude, the greater the damage. Up to 7.2% at 20 meters. So mecha like that, that like to hover and be in the air like obviously Aurora, but also Hurricane, Andromeda, um, uh, Doomlight maybe... Jojo could work, but doesn't really hover so much. Jojo just, yeah, just for the blast itself. No, I don't think Jojo would be that great. But uh, in some cases with Core 2, Neutron Star. But I would say mostly Aurora, Andromeda, and Hurricane. Really, uh, Arthur also works with this, by the way. Arthur also does more damage. Even Skylark works with this when you do the hovering uh, down. Uh, although I would not recommend it on Skylark. So on the right mecha, this is actually an S+. Plus. Whenever I play Aurora, I mostly play with this one. Sometimes when I play Hurricane, I also do this. Um, with Arthur, I kind of swap it about. I prefer Lightning Man for there more. Or uh, the Wings of Swiftness are also good. Um, Pulsar actually also would work really well with this one. Snow Mirage could work, Hot Steel could work with this one. So the secondary pilot ability is pretty good, but it depends on the mecha. Um, so maybe for that reason, I think I have to place Yutong a little bit higher. It is more situational, but on the right mecha is really good. And the primary ability is all right. But the secondary ability is definitely worth getting if you enjoy playing, hovering, and flying mecha. So, hmm. No, because it's so situational, I will put it actually next to uh, next to these people. Moving on to um, Nighthawk. I always forget his name. I always think it's Night, Nightwing or something, but that's from, Bat from Batman. So <laughs> I'm glad I remembered correctly now. His, he has a very unique primary ability, Bloodthirsty, at level 6, gain 20% leech when attacking pilots. So it means that uh, when you deal damage against pilots, you heal for 20%, 24% of the damage dealt. Um, that's very solid. I, I think that's th the type of proactive ability that I referred to earlier, like where Evan's ability and Silver Deacon's ability are like reactive. Um, this is a proactive ability where you do something and you get something in return. Of course, you do have to hit the enemy, but I mean, that's <laughs> without saying actually, you do have to hit your enemies anyway, otherwise you're not gonna uh, be very successful always. But I think this is a very solid, it doesn't increase your damage, but it definitely increases your survivability quite a bit. So let's start here. So it's more like a tanky kind of Similar to Rom, different way of having extra HP, but definitely not more mobile, but it does work on whether you're on a board or not. Let's put it here for now and take a look at the secondary ability, Shadow Hunter. Uh, level 6, hold off attacking for 4.5 seconds for 8% extra damage on the next attack. And this is a very potent ability on certain sniping mecha like raven obviously hmm. maybe snow mirage maybe gabriel hmm. uh, plus eight percent you can definitely notice and it doesn't have a cooldown that's the oh it does actually because you have to hold off attacking for 4.5 seconds yeah I think it kind of counteracts the Gabriel where you can shoot faster. And the Snow Mirage, you can swap the weapon, caramel as well. With Raven, you want to move around. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Shadow Hunter. I do think the primary is very good, but the Shadow Hunter is not that great. Mm, thinking here. If I compare it to Yutong, for example. The Shadow Hunter is definitely way worse, but then the primary is way better than Utox. 
comparing it to the others here. Um, if you hear some chewing sounds, my partner just came sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> you probably already heard some kitchen sounds in the back. It's all okay. They're just eating some nice food here. Um, yeah, I think Nighthawk with Lillian. Hmm. Yuri. Yeah, I think it's kind of middle of the road. It kind of works out. Yeah, not amazing, not bad, but the secondary is actually pretty bad. So the way to situation, and if I said hovering attack is excellent on like six or seven mecha, this one, no, it's, it's worse. I think I'd swap it around like this. I do think, oh, but the primary, oh. you know what? I will put them next to each other. They both um, have some room for improvement. Then we move on to Mobius and Mobius on my previous um, ranking video, she just came out. And uh, I didn't really fully understand her ability because I didn't know what melee damage is uh, because there's no melee weapons in this game. But what I learned is that melee damage, oh, now they added it actually. It says now melee damage increased by 14%, oh, by at level six, by 21% within 15 meters. And basically means just the damage within 15 meters. I don't know why they have melee in there. It makes no sense. So your damage is increased within 15 meters. I tested this in the training ground as well. And it's amazing. You just, the moment you move closer to an enemy, you just do more damage. And that's actually super powerful, especially in uh, a lot of people love chasing after each other into a building after you demac them. Just chase after them with a shotgun or a gun shield or even an assault rifle, it doesn't matter. You just have to be close to them and you will do 21% extra damage. That's way higher than any of these have in their damage bonuses. So actually for that reason, she will. I will place her all the way up here. Um, of course, it has to be within 15 meters. So sniping doesn't really do anything for her. But in a close range, it's basically Mobius is, is the, the brawler equivalent of Ju Chong. Ju Chong is an excellent sniper. Um, and also brawler because she's so fast. But Mobius is definitely uh, doesn't need the mobility when you just do more damage flat out. And on top of that, I've been playing lately quite a lot with Mobius' um, secondary ability, Wing of Swiftness. I upgraded it fully to level 6. And it says increases movement speed by 26% when taking damage for 3 seconds. And this triggers once every six seconds so the six second it's a six second cooldown uh it lasts for three seconds and the movement speed is increased 26 percent if we compare it to who was it um someone else had a 10 percent increase oh man i think it was the one from lillian yeah um so you first have to hit your secondary weapon and then you only get a a 10% increase of movement speed. With Mobius, okay, you don't control it yourself, but you just have to get hit, and you get so much more movement speed. Um, and in the beginning, I was kind of underwhelmed by this, but then I noticed you get hit all the time. So, especially on mobile, high damaging mecha like Pulsar, Andromeda, um, I've also played it on Aurora that worked really well. On Akashic it works really well. Tempest. There's basically all the mobile mecha that love to move in and move out. Uh, Skylark, I think this one is amazing on Skylark. Because you kind of become this like dashing, jumping, uh, unstoppable force. Where you they just cannot hit you because you're too fast. And the moment they do hit you, you become even faster. So I think this, if we're talking about defensive um pilot abilities i think this is one of the best so mobius primary ability is super powerful and the secondary is powerful so again if you have the coins and you're doubting which pilot to get next i would highly recommend getting mobius maybe even more than vita now that i think of it because vita's secondary is really underwhelming in many cases so having said that, I 
think I'm sorry, Vita, even though you're one of my favorites, I think I you have to make some space there. Yeah. Yeah, because Ju Chong and Mobius have superior primary and secondary abilities. You just have a superior, maybe one of the best primary, but your secondary is very lacking. Yeah, I think this is getting this is more fair like this. All right, we're almost we're getting there. We're almost reaching the uh, the end here. Uh, I think Shin is a very fun pilot because he has a unique design. Uh, at level six, his primary uh, lets you do plus twenty percent extra damage when you're in a car vehicle. So when you're in the unicorn tank or in deformed car, twenty one percent is a lot. I have not upgraded this, so I only do plus ten percent. Uh, but that's actually pretty lot, and I know there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy uh, fighting in those deformed cars, sometimes even more than in uh, in Mecha. So for those people, Shin, I think, is amazing. Um, it does only work when you're in a car, though. So that makes it so situational uh, and not great, but it's fun. I have a big break at six. Okay, baby. See you later. See you. Good luck. Uh, then if we take a look at the secondary abilities, also pretty good actually. Um, instant flash at level 6. After using a combat skill, you gain plus 16% movement speed for 4 seconds and it triggers only once every 6 seconds. So as you can see, this is a lower uh, movement speed increase than what Mobius gives, but way higher than what Lillian gives. And also way easier to activate though. So you just have to activate your combat skill, which you will be doing all the time. I'm using this one quite a lot on um, the slower mecha, like uh, Caramel. Uh, yeah, this more slower, tankier mecha, Firefox, Skyfall. Just to get, a, get, get myself a little bit of extra mobility after I use my combat skill. Um... And it does help them out a little bit. Although if you really want to go for the mobility, I think the one for Mobius is superior. Um, uh, yeah, so let me look here. It's a similar, similar to what she does, but he does more damage in the primary. She takes less damage. So they're, they're kind of on the, he's more offensive, she's more defensive. She's faster though in vehicles, but also she, with her other vehicles also count, huh? So um, the other vehicles all, like skateboards also count, but with him, his secondary is superior to all of these, I would say. Uh, Expeditious Retreat maybe is on the same level. I think Shin, having Shin here in A+, plus is not bad. Not bad. Okay, moving on to the latest edition. Uh, to the roster and that's Zoe. Zoe has an ability that's similar to Mobius but not quite at the same time. Uh, her first ability is called Justice Shall Prevail. Level 6, when there's one or more enemies within 20 meters of yourself, your damage increases by 80% for every additional enemy there is. So, there's a key word here additional and that makes all the difference so i thought at first that she by default within 20 meters just already does the 80 percent extra damage which is lower than mobius was it lower ways yeah 21 versus 18 yeah so i thought oh that's just a bigger range but like a little bit less damage increased than mobius but because it says additional, and I tested this also in the training ground, that only triggers per additional enemy. So if there's only one enemy, you get nothing. It doesn't trigger, it doesn't happen. So only if you're facing two enemies, for example, within 20 meters of you, um, then you start doing 18%. So that's still not great. But then when you're facing three enemies, which happens frequently in squad games, um, when you're, or uh, team deathmatch for that matter, when you're facing three enemies, it becomes 
36%. And now we're talking. When it's 4, it's an additional 18%. When it's 5, it's an additional 18%. So that is, it's, it, it stacks, you know. It gets stronger the more enemies there are. So in team deathmatch, this could, could be actually really good. Uh, and in squad games, depending on the situation, it can be really good. But the thing is, you don't have control over it. And Mobius just gives you a flat bonus. Also works against one enemy. Also works against two enemies, you know, but it stays the same. Zoe gets stronger the more enemies there are. So that's interesting. I think that's an interesting design. But I would have loved if she already got an increase, uh, even if it was lesser, you know, if it was like a 10% increase within 20 meters or something uh, for one enemy. And then it gets bigger the more enemies you see. So I think... Uh, I think they kind of missed missed the boat there for me personally. But the squad games is good. So at first I wanted to place her here. And the squad games is actually really solid. In solo games not so much. Team deathmatch is also pretty good. Uh, but it's very situational. You don't really have control over the circumstances. Uh, if we take a look at the secondary here. Oh, I have to swap it out. Forgot to do this one. Where is it? This one, the revolver. It's called Extreme Reloading. Uh, and it's called uh, uh, a level 6. Increases the reloading speed of the primary weapon by 35% when the mecha's HP is lower than 40%. So, again, a lot of ifs. So, Hill of uh, Bullets from Cyrus just gives you 20% extra reload rate. And sure, that's a lower number than what Zoe gives. But for Cyrus, it's just always on. You just reload 20% faster. With Zoe, first, your mecha has to be below 40%. And that's not so low. I think the percentage should have been a little bit higher. More like 70% or something. Then, then, I, then we're talking. But now with the 35%... Increase at level six, uh, so at level one, is just a twenty percent increase when the uh, level is lower than twenty percent. That is really bad. That's actually really bad. So I'm thinking, mm, in situations she can be good, but I'm I'm afraid she has to drop here. Actually, I think I think I think they could have done better with Zoe. She feels like a little bit of a cheap rehash of um, other abilities, but worse. So, yeah, those were the 19 pilots that uh, have released with all their unique primary and secondary pilot abilities. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if this list kind of fits yours. Um, if I look at this again, yeah, I do agree with that, with how I put things here. Intuitively, I would say Vita is higher and Shin is lower. But yeah, since I'm putting like the primary and the secondary abilities together, if you're doubting which pilots to get, and you only have coin for one easy recommendation to get Mobius or um, Ju Chong. Yeah, I think those are just the best pilots currently. Um, and Vita is closely behind them actually. So, uh, it's just that Vita's secondary is so shit. <laughs> I really want to put Vita up there. Same goes for Mila, by the way. Those two are so good. Yeah, no, I've, I've said my things. Uh, I hope you understand. If you don't, uh, just listen to it again or engage in civil discussion in the comments. Uh, I wish you all a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Have a good life and all those things. See you later. Goodbye and peace.